Wow! I thought it's the year of hug. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my god. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing me for the first time, my name is Rose Focus. If you are seeing me for the first time, my name is Rose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So um, I know you guys must have noticed our name change. Um, we have become a family and I'm sorry that I didn't inform you before changing our name. Okay, but trust me, I have a good reason for doing that. Now, it took me weeks before I could decide on changing that name. Mm -hmm. It took me weeks. Um, the reason why I decided to change that name was calm down. I was like, I am not an artist because musicians decide to change their name and they call it, that's my stage name. Comedians sometimes change their name to say, that's my stage name. Okay, and I was like, Rose, I am not a musician yet. I'm not a comedian and I am just a YouTuber. Why should I change my name? I am proud of my name. I'm proud of where I'm, where I'm from and I love that name. So why on earth would you say Rose is a red to you? Yeah, my name is Rose. And Roses, Roses have read actually matches with my name if you really want to think about it. Because my name is Rose and Rose is actually a flower and it is red. So it really matches with the name. But yeah, I just decided to change it. I'm like, my set, all my certificates, all my documents, be a Rose it way. So why would I go with Roses are red TV? The second reason why I decided to change that name too is because a lot, I like, I hear a lot of questions. People ask Rose, are you a Nigerian? That's actually what I hear a lot. People ask, are you a Nigerian? Rose, are you from Congo? Rose, are you from Ghana? Which I really don't even have the Ghana accent. Rose, are you from Kenya? Are you from Liberia? Are you from South Africa? A lot of questions. But with that name, Rose Itua, if you are a Cameroonian, a typical southwest person you know that that name is from the southwest it's from cameroon and it will save a lot of like it will save me a lot of strength and if you're in nigeria and you see that name you definitely know nigerians on the eight were none that i've heard of so if you're a liberian you see no it's, that name doesn't look like a liberian name so it will save me a lot of strength you know, answering questions there and there. So let's try, let's dive straight into the video. There is this thing going on on YouTube. Okay, so I saw one of Maya's um, video. It was a suggested video. So when I saw it, I saw the title and I was like, okay, this really looks interesting. Now I know, I don't know about people, but whenever I see a video, and whenever I click on that video, I'm expecting to see something, you know. There is these expectations I have already here that I expect to see in that video. So when I click on that video, I had the first expectations that I had was, oh, maybe in that video, Nello and Diana are going to tell YouTube what really transpired between them or what caused the fallout. That was what I was expecting. Second, I was expecting to see drama. Like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I was expecting to see drama. <laughs> yeah, you can call me names, but that was expectation. That was what I had in my head. Now, I will tell you what, admire your courage is because it takes a lot to bring two women who are not into talking terms in a room. It takes a lot of courage. Do you know why? Because women are. <laughs> I don't want to use that word. Women are <clears throat> because we don't know what you don't know what might happen or what will happen the next minute. So man, courage, like you did well. So I love the fact that he decided to bring them together without letting them know, which was actually what he said in the videos in, in the video anyway. He didn't tell them he you know he invited the two like they had no idea 
that they were going to meet you up there. And you know, you know something where you were not expecting to see somebody and you'd be like, okay, there's this first of all shock you have and there's this, should I just leave or should I just behave myself and stay? I don't, like, I really, oh my God, I wish we could read people, people, people's mind because I really wanted to read their mind when they saw each other. Like, what was Nello thinking? What am I doing? What is she doing here? What is happening here? And what was Diana thinking? Why would Wanda Maya do this? I wasn't expecting to see Nello yet. Like, if only we could see people's mind, we could read their minds, we could actually tell what the, you know, they have in them. So, I love the just, okay, you're here, I'm here, let's see what happened next. So, I love the fact. The second is the fact that when the Maya didn't put the drama, which we were ex which we were expecting to see, which I was expecting to see for us to see, he didn't put it out there. He told the cameraman, stop recording. And three hours later, showed in the video anyway, we saw them smiling and we saw them. There was there was this cold, you know, cool feeling, but you could tell that they weren't comfortable. You know when you just make peace with someone, you don't just you, you don't just you don't expect everything to be normal, to be like before, you know, you don't expect that peace at once, like boom, okay, we are now friends, we learn, we have to jolly, you know, yeah, but there is peace, we are okay, but it's going to take time before that real bonding happens again. I don't know if you understand. We saw that they were now happy together, but I could also see that that bonding you know now it's not possible we are humans it's going to take time before you know we come to that um um before we we come to that acceptance that okay we are now cool and we forget everything and then boom let's move but they are cool so i love that fact that when the maya you know sh just push everything behind the camera let's settle this thing and let you guys be cool again if you don't know diana if you don't know Diana Ikweme and Nelo KK, they are actually Nigerian Nigerian YouTubers from from Port Harcourt, you know, they're based in Port Harcourt and they're actually doing well for themselves. They are, you know, subscriber counts, they're fan based, they're doing well for themselves and they're doing actually well for themselves. So I appreciate the fact. Congrats on that. Congrats. Now, um, we, we still don't know what happened. And to tell you the truth, after watching that video, I don't care. I really didn't even know they had, they had issues because how did I even know Nilo? I think I knew, and, and I, I, I came to know that there was somebody like Nilo on YouTube through Diana's channel and through um, Dima Ome's channel. That's when I knew that, okay, somebody like, like Nelo is actually a YouTuber, okay? So after their video, after the video Diana and Nelo did, and yeah, I watched that video, and then I watched a video where um, Nelo actually um, threw a surprise baby shower for um, Diana. That was the last video I watched, and... I didn't watch any video, you know, with them again. But for me, it was me. I read this. I didn't see that as a problem. So when I saw that title, I was shocked. <laughs> when I saw that title from the man, I was like, okay, so these people have problem. You know, for me, I thought, I was like, okay, if they have problem, let me see what's happening, you know. Because I was like, okay, these are two, two YouTubers, busy YouTubers. They have large numbers. They have things to do. They are married. They have family to run. All those, they, you know, that that time for chit chat, chat chat, or sitting down to do videos all the time together might not be there. That was what I thought. I really didn't think of um, if there were a saga or whatever. Then I came across another saga um, that was last year, and that people were talking about. Um, Diana, um, Diana's um, masterclass and Nilo's masterclass, those two, you know, they were talking about the fact that um, they are clashing, um, they, you know, they are, 
like Nelo is ruining Diana's chance of getting more people to enroll in her own masterclass. When I saw that video, I, I was like, okay, this is a strategy. You know, time people just create those things, you know, just to draw people on their channel. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, maybe that's their own strategy, you know, to um get more audience. That's their own strategy to bring more people on their channel. That was what I thought because when I saw you know, the first video they did together at the baby shower, they really look good together. I saw bonding, I saw happiness. So that thought of, oh, maybe they are having problems or this really didn't cross my mind. I thought maybe there's a strategy of building their brand. There's a strategy on um, building their audience. It was just yesterday I got to know that they actually had an issue was yesterday I got to know. So I'm super excited. I'm super happy for them. And man, I'm happy that I I, I don't even want to, like I'm happy I have I'm happy I had no idea that they actually had problem because enough of this drama. It's 2021, no drama. These two have made they have made something out of YouTube for themselves in Portal Court. And I think they need each other. You know, they need each other, no matter the numbers you have. You see, you see this YouTuber eh? <laughs> that people are talking about how many subscribers I have or how, how many people watch my videos. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. <laughs> YouTube might not be there. Your account might just be removed. You don't know what will happen. So you see this YouTube, when it comes, it comes. You make your video, you make your video. I thank God for YouTube because a lot of people come out here and just talking to the camera, they feel, they feel okay. <laughs> they feel okay. So it has, it has not just given job to somebody, it has also given friends to someone because you, you meet a lot of good people on YouTube too. You meet a lot of good people on YouTube. Sometimes you don't even meet good people on YouTube, but you meet your camera because the fact that you put your camera and you talk to your camera, it feels like you're talking to someone and someone somewhere might just be, you know, listening to you and feel happy, feel comfortable. You're inspiring someone. You're keeping someone company. You are helping someone from future. I don't know. Someone might be depressed. Just watching your video, the person feel comfortable. So this YouTube, just take it like it's a temporary thing. If you feel like this YouTube is your hundred percent job, you say, okay, I am a hundred percent YouTuber. I pray the money you get from YouTube, you actually, you know, save it, or you're doing another side hustle, or you're investing, because there's me. I will tell you, there's nothing like a hundred percent YouTuber. There, I don't believe, I don't believe that there's actually something like a hundred percent YouTuber because you being a hundred percent YouTuber is, is at your own risk because at any moment, any time, anything can happen. So any money you're getting from YouTube, please save it. Save it or you invest. Should in case, see finish happen tomorrow, you have something to fall on because nobody knows this is an internet. It is social media. YouTube is not your father's property. YouTube is not your father's um, company. So anything can happen. Be wise. All this, I am, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, it's my full-time job. I pray you have something aside that. I pray so because no one knows tomorrow. Because a lot of people are talking about numbers, views. They are just taking these numbers and views so serious that you even want to talk some sense into someone. The person will just look at your number and be like, how many how many subscribers do you have that you've been talking to me? Or do you think and by talking by talking about my case, it will, it will make you gain subscribers? No. The fact that I put up my camera to say my mind doesn't mean I'm saying it because I want to get subscribers. No. I'm airing my mind. I'm telling you what I think. So it's left for you to watch my video and pass. Or you watch my video and subscribe. It's like that. So what I'm here, I am super, super excited. I'm happy. I watched the video. I watched it full. I watched it full. And I'm super, super, super excited. Like, I love what you did. I love what you're really doing well. You're really helping the black. You're really helping the African community. You're helping the African community grow in terms of 
um, what you showcase for the world to see. I, when I watched that video, I went to check your other videos and I saw a lot of interesting videos, how you, you know, expose young entrepreneurs out there for the world to see what they are doing. People will leave um, um, UK, they will leave um, America just to come settle in Africa and build something for themselves. And you show the world, I am super excited, you know, telling people that you see these millions that we are traveling out of the country, we are traveling out of Africa to get, you could actually make those millions in your own country. So I love what you're doing for a young business mind. You're doing for a young men and women who are actually trying to build a brand for themselves, who are actually trying to make Africa move forward. I love what you're doing telling the world, showing the world with your platform. I really appreciate it. So for the piece you brought between Nello and um, um, Diana, thank you so much. And I pray that piece stays like this. And yeah, I'm super excited. So if you love this video, feel free to share, feel free to subscribe. And don't forget to leave your chat in the comment section below. It is free. My comment section is always open. I do not close it like it's open feel free to leave your comment and 